Hey guys, Dave here with Transfer Express. Today we're talking all about transfer placement. So we're gonna teach you how to nail a center chest pla placement every single time, or a left chest, your sleeve prints, the common prints that everybody's using. We're gonna cover a few different methods of transfer placement, and you could find which one works for you. Some of them are very, very quick and efficient, right out of the bat, um, and some of them are a little bit more involved with the setup, but we'll go through them and you could find the one that works for you. They vary from using zero tools to using your hands or just your eyes and eyeballing it to using nice placement guides similar to these or even a ruler. So let's dive in and I'll show you all about how to place your transfers. All right, now that we're over at our Hotronics Auto Clam 16 by 20, the most important part of registering and aligning and placing your transfers is the actual loading of your heat press. So on this one, we do have the caddy stand and we're allowed to fully thread our garment on here. So that looks kind of something like this, where you're gonna open the shirt up, fit it completely onto the heat press, and so you only are printing with the top area. If your press uh, does not have this capability or is semi-threadable or not threadable at all, you always can pull the shirt off and just lay it onto the heat press. So for a auto clam style or a clamshell style heat press like this, I like having the collar towards me. So you have a little bit more working room between the shirt and your heating element up here at the top. All right, so once we're threaded onto the heat press, it's a great idea to look down the sides on each side to make sure that if you have a side seam, it's aligned properly at the same distance all the way to the back of the platen. Here, we're gonna make sure our collar comes off of the printing area to give us a nice, complete, flat surface. One of the nicest and quickest tips that we've seen used is taking your transfer and actually folding it over and just creasing the top and the bottom here of the transfer. Now that's gonna give you your center line. Our goof proof transfers actually have this awesome grid pattern on the back side. So you're able to line it up and you can see from just the edges of the platen because we've aligned the shirt on the platen correctly that we're pretty much center there. Now, the first method to show you how to place a transfer just involves your fingers. So about one and a half to three inches down from collar, here is about three fingers. And that's a similar industry standard for a lot of your typical center chest or full front placements. Of course, it's going to vary based on the garment size itself and your fingers. Now, another method that we could use for aligning your transfer, you could take your fingers and trace along where certain features of the shirt are. Now this is an awesome method for using on all different types of sizes of shirts because you'll always nail the placement spot on for the specific size or style you're working on. So we'll start here, we'll identify where our center is looking at the collar and looking at the tag or measuring to the center line of your garment or finding the center of the press here. So take that and trace the line going all the way down the front of the shirt. And then you're gonna wanna find where the armpits end on your shirt. So we'll go from here all the way over to the other armpit. Now that's gonna put a center about right here. Now that's not where you're going to start your transfer, but that's where you're going to place the center of your image. So for an image like something similar to this, where it's more of a horizontal design, right where I poked that right there, we'll place the center of the image right there. And if you take a look, it's just a little bit over three. Now that's fine because it is a very horizontal graphic. If we were to use something a little bit larger here, we could trace those seams again all the way down and our center is gonna be about right there. Now obviously on a transfer like this, that's a little bit larger full front or a little larger center chest, the center of this transfer obviously is not gonna work. So for something like this, you're gonna to wanna to definitely adjust here, but you don't wanna to go too low knowing that your center of the image should be about here and anything else is gonna be pushing a little bit lower. So this is one instance where you're not necessarily going to use fingers and you're not going to use this as an absolute center point for your image, but adjust accordingly. 
We're gonna be about just an inch down from the collar, not pushing this graphic too low and still keeping it safe. Now this is a little bit slower, but with practice you could get very efficient. And the benefit of this is on any garment size, you know exactly where the center placement should be um, and then adjust accordingly. Obviously you don't wanna be printing on the collar or off of the top of the shirt. All right, our next method is a little bit more accurate. And you're either gonna be using these guides um, that are available from tons of places on the internet or just a regular ruler. Now this is an awesome quick guide to make sure that you are centered. They make these in a whole bunch of different sizes ranging from adult to uh, toddler, the infant even, tiny, tiny ones, and the youth. So as you can see, just kind of like we previously talked about, these vary based on the depth from the collar line to the top of the artwork based on the size of what it is. You can see how the youth lines up and then the toddler lines up and even the infant gets closer and closer to the collar from the print area. So now with our two different methods here, I'm gonna show you how to use these and they're very, very easy. So if we're gonna be going one and a half to three inches down from collar, obviously just a ruler placed there. We know exactly where three inches down from collar is and we could go ahead and place our transfer right there. Now we know we're on center line and then you could easily just pull the ruler away and you know you're right there ready to press perfectly. And judging by the three finger rule again, we're right in that same exact range. If you wanna see here, even when we're doing three inches, you could hold up the seams and know we're right in the center of the transfer going from armpit to armpit. Now to use this one, we're gonna move the shirt up a little bit onto the platen so at least we have a good indication of the collar shape to align the actual placement guide. So we'll go ahead and place this right on here with the bottom of the collar. We'll go ahead and get our transfer. And as you can see, we have just a little bit of room from the top of the artwork to this transfer sheet. So we're just gonna overlap a little bit. Now we can line it up based on where our transfer center is. And then you can see here too on each side that it is aligned pretty spot on with the bottom of the armpit. And again, three fingers down from collar, which is one and a half to three inches. So we'll just hold the transfer where it is and we'll remove the guide before we press. And just for this, because we did put the collar onto the platen, as everything's already aligned, we'll just back it off slightly and nothing's moving too much on there. And then we'll go ahead and press it. All right, now if you're using one of these methods, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of actually placing your transfer, which is awesome. But if you're doing large runs, it could actually increase your time by up to a minute per shirt. And if you're doing 100 shirts, that's 100 extra minutes that you're adding to each shirt you're pressing. It may not be the best efficient option if you're doing those larger runs. If you're just starting out and wanna make sure your prints are spot on every time, this is a great method. Find what works best for you. But let's move on and I'll show you laser alignment. So now that we're over here at our Dual Fusion IQ, we're gonna play with some lasers. So lasers are a little bit different of a setup than what we've looked at before for alignment. However, we're gonna mix and match a few styles. As you can see, we have the Hoptronics Laser Alignment Wizard currently on the press now. Now this helps you line up stuff for center or top front, top back, left chest, and a 15 degree angle print if you're doing like a script and tail. So this already is really easy to lay on a full size platen, a 16 by 20, and align your lasers properly. You can see how everything aligns great on it. And it even shows you where your collar and your tag should sit, which is great. However, it does take a little bit of time to set up, but once you get it set up, you could get rolling. And you just have to make sure that you're aligning your garment on the platen itself correctly every single time before you're placing your artwork. So let's take a closer look. All right, so as you can see on this print, this is exactly how we would line up one print and be able to position all of them. Now it does vary based on how you load your garment. So you wanna make sure your garment's loaded correctly every time, which is awesome for the center seam to be lined up directly with your tag as you have it here. But as you can see, where we have this laser line placed right here, it's perfectly three fingers down from the bottom of collar. These kinds of placements will help for any kind of placement or if you're gonna use the techniques that we described earlier. 
If you're basing from off where the armpit seams are, you could draw a laser line right there. Or if you're doing a left chest, you could align it right here where this one is aligned with the edge of the collar. And you could draw that line here an inch or two up from the armpit seam here. And you could place your left chest right there. Perfect every single time. So alternatively, for your specific application, you could set this up to align almost anything you need. So you could use it to draw the imaginary lines, how we had talked about earlier steps, uh, from down from the bottom of the collar, where the collar meets the garment, here to the center line, and then one right here, about two to three inches up from the armpit sleeve to put us right there exactly where our center of our graphic will be. So we'll go ahead and take our left chest print and align it right there on the lasers. We'll move it down just a little bit. And right there, we're gonna have spot on left chest placement. Let's go back to the studio and show all of the methods that we just showed you in actual application practice. So now that we're back here in the studio, I wanna show you a few different placements and utilize some of the methods that we saw. So without further ado, let's throw a collared polo onto the press here and I'll show you exactly how perfect alignment will work. So here on polos, a good rule of thumb to nail that placement, now this does vary based on different garments, is go by the bottom most button. Now most of these have two or three buttons. We have one unbuttoned here, but these will have three buttons. Go by the bottom most button and that's gonna be one of your perfect alignment here. You could use where the collar seam meets and go straight down and that's gonna be where the center line of this print should be. On regular t-shirts, you could use this as your guide on polos, you could also use this as your guide. We'll align with the second button down and we'll have that perfectly printed. Now for heat printing here with the left chest print, you definitely don't want to be printing with these seams, the collar and the button here. So all we're going to do is slip a mouse pad right up underneath there and that's going to raise that print area. We could also move it so that we slide off and get this collar right off the plat. Now you're gonna have a nice raised printing area that's gonna keep these buttons out of the way. And you could also measure if you wanna be spot on perfect for a regular adult medium. It's gonna be about seven and a half to nine inches down. So right here, we're right in the middle at eight inches from the top seam down to the middle of the graphic. Now that's not gonna change based on kind of what you're gonna be doing here. If it is just one name, we recommend being on the top line if you're gonna be here. So if you're using this, exactly where this one is placed pretty much, put that right on the top of the line. Don't center it on that line. And of course, we're going from where the collar meets this button. Things look way different when they're flat versus when they are on a mannequin or a body. So that is a large part of placing your artwork. If you are unsure at any time of where something looks or after you've printed it, it looks low or looks high, go ahead and throw the shirt on or throw it on your friends or family or anybody who could fit the shirt to see where it's gonna be placed. We have our friend Marcus the mannequin here and let's throw this shirt on Marcus to see exactly where this one's placed. So as you can see here on Marcus, this polo coming straight down from the collar goes right to the graphic, aligning with the second button on most polos or golf shirts, or you could use it based on the bottom of the actual armpit, but moving up by about two inches, two fingers, three fingers up from that, puts the bottom of the graphic exactly where it needs to be on this specific graphic. Now for the back of a hoodie, you do not want to use the typical three fingers or even how we have our guide here for the three inches down from the collar, because as you can see, this prints much lower. But on the back of a hoodie, you want this to be lower because you have to account for the hood being worn down. You don't want it to completely cover the graphic when you're wearing the hood down and you're not, you don't have the hood over your head. So as we go here, obviously, this will not work. So we'll remove this. My rule of thumb, and kind of on the industry standard, is going at least five inches down, depending on what the graphic is. So if we look here, we'll go five inches down, right to the top of the artwork, to allow this to not be covered when we're wearing the hoodie itself. So let's get this over to Marcus, and I'll show you exactly how it looks. Now that we're back here on our mannequin, 
This is exactly why you should be putting that down about five inches from the bottom of the hood seam. So as somebody's actually gonna be wearing this, you could see where that hood's really gonna lay. And while you're covering up a little bit of the graphic, that's okay, even lower would be better. That's perfect for if you're placing numbers or names on the back of hoodies. It's the number one mistake we see, people putting names up where they would typically on a regular jersey, where the hood completely covers the name. You do wanna put those down a little bit lower, so it is that five to six inches down from that hood seam to completely avoid getting covered by the hood. All right, now we'll talk about placing a print on the sleeve. Now, most garments, when you get them, will have some sort of seam right down the center line of the outside of the sleeve. This is awesome use for placement and you don't need to do anything. You can go right off this where this top seam comes down, trace it right to the bottom uh, cuff here on the short sleeve t-shirt and you could print. So. For a press like this, you absolutely could take one of the mouse pads, raise the area up, and thread this on in here so that you're away from the seams and you're able to print. Now, you kind of have to get a little tricky with how you want to balance it or get it up here and adjust your pressure accordingly as you place this here. But if you have one of our new tag along platens, I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick that you could use with that platen. So, you can totally perfectly print with the mouse pad and a regular 16 by 20 platen, just like I showed you. But I absolutely love the tag along platen and every single week we find cool things that our community is doing with it. So you could just take the seam as we talked about earlier. And if you do have the tag along platen and or another reason to get yourself a tag along platen is you could just go ahead and fit this right up on this tag area. And you could easily, without changing any press setup, set this up. So that seam that I was talking about, we just wanna make sure it's centered in the print area. Let's go ahead and preheat our garment. Three to five seconds. So we'll go ahead and take our print. Now a guide for placement is we're always gonna to wanna to keep it at least one finger length or two finger lengths up from this sleeve. You don't want it too high as it could go up almost to the shoulder depending on where the actual shoulder seam ends up on the garment. So we'll just go ahead and place this one down, one finger down from this sleeve and we're ready to press it. Goof Proof is a hot peel, so we're immediately gonna peel this one. Boom. Nice and easy coming off a perfect application in a nice soft screen print. And look how beautiful that looks, centered up right on that seam. And just like that, you have an absolutely perfect sleeve print. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned how to make perfect transfer placements, at least for our standard locations. If you wanna see specialty locations in the future, go ahead and drop a comment below. Also, if you have your own tips that you wanna share, we would love to hear them from you. Just please comment below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to stay notified. Click the thumbs up if you learned something from this video. At Transfer Express, we are absolutely floored by your dedication to bettering yourself and learning and building your business. We are here to support you in any way we can. So that's what we're all about, education and inspiration to get you the maximum return on your t-shirt business. But until next time, I'm Dave and happy pressing guys.